Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we've got a funny little question here. So first of all, let's just look at it. It says which of the following values of X would make the expression undefined? That's weird. Um, that right there in and of itself confuses a lot of students. What do we mean by undefined? Uh, we mean that we don't have a number um, we wouldn't have an answer for it, basically. We wouldn't have a number to answer the question or we wouldn't be able to, to find an answer for the question. So that's what I mean there. Which of the following values of X would make the expression undefined? Now, these types of problems, these undefined expression problems, occur usually in the non-calculator section of the GED. That's what the GED tells us. Um, and there's two big types of problems you'll see. Uh, the fraction ones, which we did in an earlier video, and then this one, um, which has features a square root. So hopefully you know when you see this symbol that's a square root. Well, there's something I know about square roots, and that is that although it is possible to take the square root of a positive number, like think about this, the square root of 16, I'm asking what number times itself would equal 16? Well, certainly 4 times 4 would equal 16. Now, so a lot of times then um, I'll tell, ask students, you know, what is the square root of negative 16? And they'll tell me, um, oh, I wrote my answer down wrong earlier and it's going to make the problem look wrong. Hold on one second. Sorry, the square root of 16 is just 4, not 4 times 4. It's just 4, but it's 4 because uh, 4 times 4 is equal to 16. So 4 times itself uh, would give me 16. Okay, now a lot of times I'll ask students about the square root of negative 16. Negative 16, and they always tell me, okay, it must be negative 4. Well, remember uh, that the opposite of square root is squaring. So if that is true, if it is true that the neg square root of negative 16 is negative 4, then it must be true that if I take negative 4 and multiply it by itself, negative 4, I'll get uh, negative 16, the number that was inside that square root. And of course, I hope we know that that is not true because yes, 4 times 4 is 16. But a negative times a negative, two negatives multiplying cancel, and I would actually get positive 16 if I were uh, to multiply negative 4 times negative 4. In fact, as it turns out, there's no way to multiply together the exact same number twice and get a negative. Because of that, if somebody said to me, you know, what is the square root of negative 16? Um, at a GED level of math, I would just tell them this is undefined. I don't have a number uh, to define this. Now, if you keep sticking with math, some of y'all know, um, we will eventually define a type of number to be able to do this math with. Those are known as the imaginary numbers, uh, but we don't have them yet at our GED level. And so, uh, basically, if you have a negative inside a um, square root, you're going to get an undefined answer. Can I say that again? If you have a negative inside a square root, you're going to get an undefined answer. So, after all that talk, let me show you how to do the problem. Okay, so what that means to us is it means this statement right here, this 2x plus 5, if this thing is negative, then this expression will end up undefined. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the radicand is what we call this, the inside of the radical. That's that 2x plus 5. And I am going to say what happens if this were less than 0. Anything less than 0 is negative. And so uh, let's see what happens if I have it less than 0. Now let's just solve this little inequality here. Negative 5, I subtract 5 from both sides and I get 2x is less than negative 5. And now to get the, two, the x alone, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And if you don't know how to do this skill that I'm doing right now, you might want to go back and look at our Solving Inequality series of videos that we have done. And I find out that any time x is less than negative 5 halves, um, or negative 2 and a half is another way to think of this, 2.5. 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. You could do that in your... Uh, head, I would hope. Um, but anytime 
x is less than those numbers, my answer is going to end up undefined. So taking a look at these, um, if negative 4 is less than negative uh, 5 halves, or negative 2.5, uh, but positive 4 is not, it's greater, and 2 is also greater. And so the only answer here that works is A. All right, I hope that makes sense. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll be happy to answer them.